Wednesday will be the first day of the Marquette County Housing Summit hosted by Lake Superior Community Partnership. I talked with their CEO, Sarah Lucas, who provided some context as to why this event is significant. The housing shortage in Marquette is not a new headline, but the solution to that problem may be coming soon. I talked with Sarah Lucas, CEO of Lake Superior Community Partnership, about the Housing Summit webinar they're hosting this Wednesday and Thursday. This has been a topic that everybody is talking about. Um, it's something that businesses have really identified as a concern as they look at how they're staffing and recruiting. Um, it's an issue that I think a lot of us are experiencing personally or know people who are experiencing personally. And everyone has a lot of questions on why exactly we're in this situation, what's driving it, what are the solutions. Um, and this summit is a, is a perfect opportunity for everyone to get some of that information, get their questions answered um, so that we all have uh, the information that, that we need uh, to, 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 to take action on some of those issues. I asked Sarah to highlight some of the topics that will be discussed in the summit. There's been a lot of discussion about uh, federal dollars and how they might be used for housing. And so there are uh, different proposals out there for using some of those dollars for housing. Um, we'll be talking about that specifically. Um, we'll also be talking about a package of bills championed by a group called Housing Michigan. It's a bipartisan group um, that is essentially working to create more tools for housing development. Um, and we'll be hearing uh, essentially a summary of those bills and an update on where they are in the legislature. And then we'll be talking about, again, kind of going back to some of those federal dollars, how we might be able to uh, apply those regionally. Because housing is a complex topic, I asked Sarah if the LSCP already has some solutions and what she sees as the most important way to address the problem as a whole. Uh, a few examples of how other communities have addressed housing. Some have changed zoning, some have offered tax incentives, um, some have used uh, tools available through the Land Bank Authority to offset some of the land costs associated with development. Some have um, participated in providing infrastructure to developments in order to offset development costs. Having partnerships throughout the community um, is is probably the most important thing we can do um, because we really need we really need local governments at the table. We really need nonprofits. We really need the private sector. Um, we really need the public um, to support these initiatives. And so it's um, it's it's the, the fastest way to get to a solution for housing is through partnerships. With ABC 10 CW5 News, I'm Tony Drew.